Greetings, my name is Timon Green, and I am an accounting educator and certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and I'm here to show you how to create a pivot table in five minutes or less. So with a pivot table, you are able to analyze key information in a data set. So the data set may contain a lot of lines of information, but with a pivot table, you are able to summarize and analyze that information. And the beauty of pivot tables is that they can help you make a business decision. So what I'm going to demonstrate in this video is how to take a data set and construct a pivot table that will allow you to answer certain questions. So what I have here is a data set that contains over 1700 lines of information. And on this data set are invoices. So we have the customer, the address, the city, the state, the invoice number, the invoice date, and the invoice amount. So what we want to find out is what are the total amount of invoices that are generated in each state that's listed in this data set? Now, there's multiple ways to find that information out. You can set filters and do it the manual way. But with the pivot table, it's quick and effective. So the first thing that you do when creating a pivot table is you want to highlight the areas that the pivot table is going to cover. So for the 1770 lines that's in this data set, to highlight the data set, we would hold down the control key, the shift key, the right arrow, and the down arrow key on the keyboard. And what that will do is that'll select all 1770 lines. But of course, if you have more data, doing it that way can also highlight everything that's in the data set. So the next step is in the insert tab. We want to click on pivot table, which is in the tables group. So now when you click on the pivot table, what Excel is going to display in this dialog box is the create pivot table option to where it's going to show you the tab that contains information and also the range of data, which goes from A1 to G1770. So once you have seen that range, you can click OK. And what Excel does now is it opens up another sheet to where you can construct the pivot table and there's also pivot table fields here which contains all of the columns from the main data set so the pivot in pivot table means that we can move any one of these columns anywhere in our analysis and we're not just stuck on the collinear format that you see here so inside of the sheet one we have all of our data fields and also what's important about a pivot table is knowing exactly what we want the pivot table to do. So what we want it to do in this case is to tell us what the total invoice amounts are for each particular state. So the fields that we're going to use in the pivot table is going to be the state and the invoice amount. So first we start off with state. And what we want to do is we want our states to display horizontal, vertically, I'm sorry, which is up and down. So to do that, we would move state down to rows. And so what happens now with the rows is here we see all of the states that are that's in our invoices analysis. And then the next option that we want is the invoice amount. And what we want the invoice amount to show is for each state, 
what the total amount of invoices are. So we take invoice amount, we move that over to values, and look at the pivot table here. It's going to display all of our states along with the amounts. And so now, if you want to know what the invoice numbers are for each particular state, because I am currently located in Georgia, we see that the amount is $70,222.46. So what we can do with the pivot table is double click on the amount and what Excel is going to do in a separate tab is open up all of the invoices for that particular state. You get all of the detail and then you can of course come here and open up the columns and there you have it. So anytime you want to display the information for the pivot table, you can just double click on any of the amounts and what Excel is going to do is open it up in another tab. So if we wanted to see Pennsylvania, scroll down to Pennsylvania, we see there's 111,325.58. We double click on that and we can open up the columns. And there you have it, folks. That is how you construct a simple pivot table. So of course you can go back and do all other types of things with pivot tables, which I show in my new course that is going to be published in later on this month in June, which is entitled Pivot Table Simplified with Microsoft Excel. So I go into more details with pivot tables as I present it in this video, and you'll learn how to use pivot tables effectively on your job, on your business, or where else requires you to learn pivot tables so i have enclosed that link and i teach everything you need to know about pivot tables so if you're interested in learning more about pivot tables it's a virtual course once you have access the course you have lights lifetime access to it and i just go basically with how to do more things with pivot tables along with pivot table charts so this is Timon Green. Thanks to all my subscribers. And of course, if you like the video, please like it, please share it, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.